so much just from hearing people's experience. When we are in close contact with others and share common goals and interests with others, like that brings to bear empathy for others that's what's necessary and that helps us learn. Even though you're around tons of people and you can communicate so easily, there's an aspect of community, I think, that can be missing. Uh, I don't think the service would be the same without community. Um, because it's, you know, we can talk about it, but when you actually do something, uh, I think it brings, it brings remembrances and things like that closer to you. It's been helpful to to look at communion um, with a slightly different lens. I have found some of the um, the words of the of institution and the the uh, liturgy that we've been using lately has kind of helped inform it as a um, as a, a remembrance, a calling to mind our baptism. Um, that we, when we enter into following Christ, we do it with our our whole body, uh, just as as it was. It wasn't just a part of Jesus's life; it was the whole thing. But it wasn't more recently until I had a family of my own, and after moving away from church for many years, um, and then having to explain the world to my son and not knowing how to do it without using God and Jesus to do that, that I really understood the importance of prayer in my life today. Generally, what's good for an individual may be good for that individual, but it's not necessarily the same feedback as if something that's good for all, which is by nature good for the individual as well. So when we, the way we do things and think and organize and interact, it seems that um, it would be, and it can only be a positive, is to act for the betterment of others and act with a sense of communalism. No one should deserves to be put in a situation where their life is in danger their moment, or there's, where they have a, a prejudice or any injustice forcing them from the moment. They, throughout their lives, that's, we need to, I mean, that sort of democratic type goal has been stated but rarely followed through upon, but we need to act for, for bring people toward it, to a situation where we all have a chance of that, a positive and healthy surrounding, mm -hmm. so as far as just in the way of life, and that, and perhaps that means that some of those who are the wealthiest and those the best off would need to perhaps part with <laughs> some of that wealth in There's a period of time when I moved here that I was didn't have a church community really and that's one of the things I didn't realize was missing so greatly was number one the challenge and having people to teach me about God and how to interpret the Bible and that kind of stuff um, but also using my gifts I'm more aware of that um, having the opportunity being in a community to use my gifts more and again I think that's one of the things I'm thankful for and thankful for the relationships in the church mm -hmm. um, they've just been a really valuable part of my life the last few years and now finding something where a group of people that I share so much in common with in terms of values and beliefs um, and being able to come together and to raise my, my son in that environment too is something that's really valuable. There's people uh, 
I don't know any other situation where I would um, socialize or or spend time with people who are a lot older than me. Um, I don't know any other situation. I don't have grandparents that are alive anymore. And to see this cross-generational interaction with some of the older members of our community and my son too is so valuable. And I think for us too though, All Saints and, and the, the vision that we have and, and the, the values that we try to promote there isn't a community like that here in Kelowna. Very uh, warm and accepting, and, and uh, in fact, our we put together a vision statement where we say that we wanted to be a community with, which would provide people with the w welcoming presence of God, and that's that's kind of how I felt when I came here. And so I really enjoy that, and I I, I hope that we can continue it on. And, uh, and expand that to and reach out to the public and, and show them that there is something a little different out there. Instance where you yourself have felt challenged? Um, I think the big one is how to be involved in the community, you know, whether it's through peace seekers, um, which our church is very really involved in, um, the group from Highlands that we're very involved in, um, doing stuff for the food bank, um, making time for that kind of stuff. Walk into life and through life, um, supported by each other. I think that's really important. Not so much that um, we're all the same, because we're not any of us the same. So I, I appreciate that about All Saints. You can you can have your own opinions or uh, be a little different or uh, and that's okay, that's okay. Um, it's about respecting each other and caring and, and supporting each other and learning and uh, keeping your mind open to what you could learn um, and not. Uh, assuming that you already know it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Learn, learning is a, a, is a big part of it. And it's, it can be quite challenging. States and speaking of uh, the Greek poet Aeschylus whose words were that people should we need to seek to tame the savages of man and make gentle the life of this earth. So.